your life whether the devil likes it or not we manifest the glory of God this 120 days remaining from today for this year to end people will see the glory of God in your life everywhere you go the glory of God will radiate and reflect in your lives in the mighty name of Jesus you will go from glory to glory each day we get better for you in the mighty name of Jesus for somebody that will receive this in this 120 days uncommon blessings shall be your portion uncommon blessings shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus there's somebody here you fought battles from January you fought battles till August but I hear from this September to December you will celebrate victory even though I don't like your amen you will celebrate victory in the mighty name of Jesus you will celebrate victory you will celebrate victory you will celebrate victory line shall fall for you on pleasant places in the name of Jesus I have received a commandment to bless as you receive this I declare this 120 days in this year be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus if you believe shout hallelujah They've been tolerating you but now it's for them to celebrate you the tide is changing it's changing where you have been tolerated before you will become the celebrated one in the name of Jesus because you are beginning to you go you're going to begin to shine from now forth in the name of Jesus the grace that releases to shine is coming upon you this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus any power that have held you down before now I command that power grinded in the name of the Lord Jesus so shall it be with your hands and give him thanks with your hands and give him praise he's worthy of our praise thank you father hallelujah you may be seated amen amen Thank God for this great day that he has made. Hallelujah. This morning, I will be sharing with us on a message I titled, Released. Just according to the team, Released for Exploits. I'll be taking my text, Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. And I'm going to read from verse 30. From now you begin to do exploits. In the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 30, Luke chapter 19 from verse 30, King James, yeah. It says, saying, go, go ye into the village over against you, in which at your entering you shall find a court tied, whereon yet never man sat lose him and bring him either if there's anything that has held you down that has not allowed you to fulfill destiny this morning you'll be loose to fulfill destiny Amen. that bound will break Amen. that bound will break once upon a time, there was a court that just remained there ever since birth. It was there, never allowed to fulfill destiny. But there was remembrance for the court. Today, remembrance is coming for you. 
in the name of Jesus. Give me the next verse. If any man asks you, why do you lose him? Thus shall you say unto him, because the Lord had need of him. Nobody will stop you henceforth. Amen. You will fulfill God's purpose. Amen. That which God has ordained you to be, that which God has ordained you to become, for which he created you, you will fulfill it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. If any man asks you why lose him, say, because the Lord has need. God cannot instruct and the enemy rejects. When God gives the command, the enemy has no choice. Now give me verse, the next verse. And they went. And they that were sent when they are away and found even as he had said unto them. Yes. And as they were losing the court, the owners thereof, who are those claiming ownership over your life? Who are those that have been watching? They have been watching. No man will touch this one. No man will come around this one. This one will not be fulfilled. Who are those that have been watching? Who are those that are claiming over an ownership over your life? Today, their right and ownership over your life is being terminated. And the owners thereof said unto them, Why lose ye the court? They've been there, but they never allowed the court to be fulfilled. The court has a mission. The court is to be reading on. Every man has, there is the purpose for which God has ordained you. Right from the time you were born, there is an ordination for you. When Jeremiah was in the mother's womb, he says, Look, I have ordained you ever before you were formed as a seed in your mother's womb. I have ordained you to become a prophet to the nations. That is the same. Every man has an ordination and you will fulfill it in Jesus' name. Can I hear better? Amen. Amen. And they said, the Lord has need of him. And they had no choice. Yes, give me the next place. And they brought him to Jesus. And they cast their garment upon the court. And they set Jesus thereupon. Thereon. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know what has been limiting you. But the time for you to be released. To manifest. Released to shine. Released to break forth. Released to do exploits. That time has come. Amen. That time has come. Amen. That time has come. Amen. We are going to pray together this morning. If you look at the verse before, if you look at verse 29, verse 29 of that same Luke, verse 29. Amen. And it came to pass when he was come near to Bathphage and Bethany. At the mount called Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples. We are going on a mission this morning. Amen. We are going on a mission to lose that court. You are one, I am the second. God is sending us this morning to go out there. The court of my life, the court of your life that has been held down, that has not been allowed to be fulfilled. We are being sent on a mission. Are you ready to go with me? And that court will be loosed, will be released for exploits, to shine, to manifest the glory of God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. This court has been there for a long time. Imagine a thing just born from the very beginning. They said no man had ever ridden on it. 
No man. And the owners were there. And the court was tied. Tied to a spot. The court was limited. Never allowed to fulfill the purpose. The court cannot just go anywhere. It's only what is brought to the court that the court has access to. The food that is given to the court is what the court can eat. The court cannot do anything of its own. It was under the watch eyes of the owners. Now, if you look again to Mark chapter 11, give me Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11, right from verse 2. The same scriptures. It says, and he said unto them, go ye, go your way into a village over against you. And as soon as you enter into it, you shall find a court tied. Whereon never man sat. Lose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, why do you do this? Say ye that the Lord had need of him. And straightway. It will send him either. And they went their way and they found the court tied by the door without in a place where two roads meet. And they lost him. Now, can you imagine what this court had passed through? I don't know what you have been passing through. Everybody. Amen. Amen. Look at what this court had been passing through was tied down, not only tied down, tied down in the open. When sun comes, it comes on it. When rain comes, it comes on it. The owners didn't care what happens to the court. And this court was tied on a place where two roads meet, on an open place, being humiliated, just there like that, disgraced. People just pass and nobody look at it. Is completely relegated, counted as nothing. It doesn't matter when you are where you are relegated. When your time of celebration comes, even those that relegate will come to bow for you. The court was just there. Nobody seemed to remember or recognize or know that there's something there. And I could see the court say, Oh my God, is this why? Is this how my life should be? Why? What has happened? There are many wise we have been asking. We don't know. And we would have prayed and prayed. We will weep and weep. We come back and we begin to praise him. He hears. The timing is just a thing. When the time of Joseph came. When his word came. When the time of his word came. Nothing could stop him. Nothing could stop him. He was sent ahead. Many a times there is what I call the hidden wisdom. Whenever anything is happening to you, you are a child of God. Hear me, there is a hidden wisdom. Somebody say hidden wisdom. The Bible says God has ordained this before the world was created unto our glory. My glory, your glory. Ever before the world was created, it was ordained for your glory. Everything that the devil will do against you now that he thinks is afflicting or pressing you, there is a hidden wisdom. It's ordained for your glory. Which none of the princes of this world knew had they known it. They would not want it, don't we? Many a times the various devices of the enemy he had any. If you don't hear me, go and ask. <laughs> Whatever the devil is doing, na gra gra. <laughs> I used to say this. Presentation is not penetration. The devil will come presenting situations to you. He's waiting for your reaction to penetrate. I said, know your place, not be me. I feel no prayer reach you. <laughs> but my mind is fixed. I am not your candidate. That's why you see so many people go to the mountain. They will be there for 21 days. After praying and praying, when they come, they will say, here I am. Presentation is not penetration. From today, every presentation of the enemy over your life will never enter. 
They caught was left on the open. Humiliated, being humiliated was just there. But there was a day of remembrance. The master was just where he was and told the disciples, say, look, it is time to lose the court. It is time for the court to manifest. It is time for the court to shine. It is time for the court to begin to do exploits. It is time for the court to fulfill destiny. Go and lose the court. Your time has come. Go and lose the court. And when they got there truly, they met the court there. Nobody. Many have been passing. Many have been passing. They see the court, but nobody says anything. They just packed it aside. But the day came when the time of change came. The owners had no choice. When the disciples get there as we will enter into the realm of the spirit today. When the disciples got there and they were losing the court. Those who have been watching. I don't know those who have been monitoring your life. They don't want good things to come around you. The owners have been there quietly watching. People have been passing but they never allow anybody to go near to lose the court. Because they say this court must remain here. Tied down here. Who is that person? They will be grinded for your sake. And when they were losing the court, the owners came and said, why lose ye the court? He said, the master has ordered it. The master has instructed it. The master has ordered it. And they had no choice. They let the court go. Today, the enemy will let you go with his. As you open your mouth to declare the word of God in your mouth that is already fire, will go forth and it will clear every hold of the enemy over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And they lose the court. And the court was released. I could see the court saying, wow, is this me? Am I dreaming? Mommy, am I dreaming? Can this be me? Ah, since but I have been held down. I am released. The court was rejoicing at the release. But that is not just it. God doesn't release you and stop there. The court was released and the court was rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. Uh, what the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. He saves me and wash me in his blood. And they took the court and the court was going. As if it was not enough, they brought the court to the master. The court had direct contact with the master. If you read on the scriptures as we read on, go down to verse 4, verse 5, verse 6 now. It says, and they said, Unto them, even as Jesus has commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the court to Jesus. Verse 7. And they brought the court to Jesus, and they casted garments on him. Malado Shataya. Gelebra Gaga. God is releasing a new garment of glory upon your life this morning. They casted garment upon him. The court that was rejected, the court that was packed aside, people started decorating him. I see God decorating somebody these four months in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And they cast a garment on him and Jesus, the master, the Lord of lords and the king of kings sat on the court. They never wanted any man to ride on it. They didn't want anything good to happen. But the court started from the top. The number one man in the whole universe, the Lord of lords, the king of kings was the one that sat on it. The court didn't just start from the bottom. The court started from the top. The enemy was saying no way. But God is saying, look, I am going beyond. Look, 
They thought nothing good can come out from your life. They're saying this one is finished. Who is saying you are finished? You have been trying, you have been struggling to make ends meet. It's as if, wow, how long will this continue? And people look at you, they even mock at you. But by the mercy of God, by the mercy of God, a turnaround is coming. Amen. I see a turnaround to your situation. Amen. That you say, the Lord of heavens has done it for me. This will be your testimony. This will be your testimony. This will be your testimony. And they brought the court before the master. They decorated the court. The court started enjoying glory. The court was released unto glory. The court started enjoying glory. A new glory started radiating in the life of the court. Was decorated. For the Lord Jesus himself to sit on a court. A court that was supposed to... The, the assignment of the court. I don't know the assignment God has given you. The assignment of the court was to fulfill destiny. But the court was never allowed to, to get into the assignment. But the court suddenly started where no man had ever... The court was decorated in the first place with a new glory and the master himself sat upon it and suddenly everything about the court changed. Suddenly everything about the court changed. Suddenly everything about the court changed. Suddenly God will do it suddenly for you. And you know what? The same people that relegated the court, the same people started celebrating the court. You know what happened? They threw their garments on the ground. The court was giving a red carpet reception. They threw their garments on the ground. And I could see the court. Do I have 11 minutes more? <laughs> you people for this place now. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Is there any? Okay, is there. I wasn't looking at that one. <laughs> Hallelujah. And this court was giving red carpet reception. Red carpet reception. And this court could be saying, what well, can this be me? You know, is the court started doing exploit in the first place because he carried the master. And then was giving red carpet reception. And then the court was just moving on. And then you know what? People filed up. Amen. You know when the president is coming sometimes, those days, those days when go on during the war, when they say the president is coming, we children, school children, will go and line up by the left and right. We carry flag. <laughs> we carry flag. They will give every one of us flag. We will hold the flag. And then there is a man called Kido. That one with a machine. He will just do like this. Somebody remember what I'm saying. <laughs> and then Skido, we just do like this. Ooh, and we, been we say Skido. I remember that. I know they forget her. <laughs> and then there you see, every one of us, when the head of said is coming, we begin to wave the flag. And I could see the same people. The same people that used to pass by the court and look down on the court. The same people filed up on the way and the same people were using their flags, waving their flags. The court became the celebrated. The relegated became the celebrated. I declare in the name of Jesus, as you say amen, where you are being relegated, you will be celebrated. I say where you are being relegated, you will be celebrated. In the mighty name of Jesus, that staying on the same spot as you say amen i command it terminated i command it terminated i command it terminated in the name of jesus all right let's just pray one prayer or two all right amen we are going on an assignment now you are one disciple, I'm the second one. Myself and the, our father in the house here is the second. Amen. Is the angel of the church. We are going on an assignment. Two of us stand as one, you stand as the second. We are saying we are going on the instruction of the master. The court of my life that has been held down. 
in the name of Jesus be loosed by fire we are going you say we are going on the instruction of the master the court of my life that has been tied down in the name of Jesus be loosed now somebody say in the name of Jesus we are going forth by the instruction of the master the court of my life the breakthrough of my life the fulfillment of my life that have been held down in the name of Jesus be released by fire open your mouth and begin to pray now Erata pasha tayada, erododo paradaba, ezoto paridaba, egogo gaga, japakata, ajada. I stand in agreement. We stand. I am God's servant. Ezekiel Lawali. We stand in agreement right now with you and command the court of your life that is held down, be loosed. Be loosed, 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 rada boda ushata, ekele gara, basha tasha, ekata pa, bekata, ezata, ekara, pa 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 pa, jadaba, be loosed, be loosed. Bellows, 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 bellows by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Eradabo do bashata, erogo do bayadaba, eli gadaba gadaba. In Jesus' name, we pray. I hear a demonic meeting that was here to displace you. It's already overturned now. It's already overturned now. There's another person here. There's a covering that has not allowed you to be seen. That cover is burnt off now. That cover is burnt off now. That cover is burnt off now. Elato shaprakata. Elegadagadaba. Ayakaka. I'm just seeing something now. I am seeing a head. I'm seeing a head. I can't see the face very well, but it's obvious it's a head. But that head is in the pit. And I was wondering, what is this about? And the Lord said, that valley that they have put this person, that the head will not be lifted up. He said, speak to it. As you will shout, amen, like thunder. I command from that valley that have been hiding your head from being seen. I said, come out in the name of Jesus. I said, come out in the name of Jesus. I said, come out in the name of Jesus. I said, come out in the name of Jesus. I said, come out in the name of Jesus. I said, come out. I said, come out. I said, come out. In the name of Jesus. You're going to begin to say this also. In the name of Jesus, I release my talent that have been held down. I release my virtues that have been held down. I release my blessings, my benefits that have been held down. Be released by fire. Be released by fire. My home that has been held down. Be released. The work of my hands that have been held down. Be released. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Be released. 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 Be released, be released, be released, be released, be released. Rekato yaba, egele braga, osheto praka, eliga dabada, radalo shatapa, katwa twa, ejwa twa, ekwa twa, elwa twa, jadwa kataya. In Jesus' name, we pray. Upon my life, Lord, release grace for exploits, grace for celebration, grace for exploits, grace to be celebrated. I receive now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayers lastly. Lado Shatoya, Egaga Godobada, Mebra Kotoyadaba, Egede Kakwaka. 
e joa tua kaliaga e grala batu paradaba e gegeira brakatoyada zipra kotoreda buda shataya e gadobre kakotayada ba thank you father thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray there are some persons i want to pray for but i will do that in the second service if you want to wait you wait amen and let's have a full time in the presence of the lord i'll do that in the second service and then number two because i can't take all now i had that leading that everyone here will be anointed with this grace amen so if you will want to wait amen praise the lord so i had that intention to pray for people and then also to anoint that their grace i received this grace for exploits i received this grace that will release me to shine forth in the name of the lord jesus and as you believe god that grace comes upon you there are two things i will do then since i'm giving the time when i will anoint you and then i will share a scripture with you that you will take as a step alongside with this amen <laughs>